Last week, all eyes were on the baby sloth born at our very own Denver Zoo. Now here with the latest on the baby sloth and other events going on this year is Katie Myers. Good to see you, Katie. Good to see you too. Before we talk about the baby sloth, moms, dads, today is free day at the Denver Zoo. Woo woo. That's, so they can come and, and get them free, Yes, right? today is okay. free day and it's great weather, so it's a really nice day to be at the zoo today. Perfect. All right, now to the baby sloth. What did you name it? So right now, the baby does not have a name. <gasps> it's really hard to tell if it's a male or a female, so right now we're just giving the sloth some time to bond with each other, so we don't want to interfere, so sometime later we'll, we'll know what the sex is and then we'll, well, we'll be able to come up with a name. That's the first animal or human I've ever heard of that you can't tell what sex it is. Yeah, it's really hard to tell, so uh, we don't want to be too invasive right now. We're just letting them spend some time together and bond with each other. Okay. Um, talk about the unique characteristics of the sloth besides being Slow. So yes, sloths are very slow, but um, they are completely adapted for a lifestyle up in the, into the trees. Um, the only time they ever come down is to use the bathroom, uh, which is about once a week. And, what? Um, yep. That's oh true. Oh my mm -hmm. gosh. And um, if you see those long claws, um, they are used for hanging on to tree limbs. And um, they are very slow, um, which is actually um, just part of their natural history. Um, and they have a really slow metabolism and they have a four chambered stomach with lots of bacteria that helps them break down all those leaves that they're eating. Oh, that's why they only go to the bathroom once a week. I was like, that's oh my gosh, right. poor thing has to be so bloated. <laughs> Ooh. Um, how are they able to survive in the wild if, because they're so slow? Right. Well, it actually is a bit of a benefit to them. They tend to blend in uh, with their environment, so they don't draw a lot of attention to themselves. Um, also, um, they sometimes grow algae on their fur, and they'll have a greenish tinge in the wild, which really helps them blend in into their uh, treetop environment. They're very important to our environment, aren't they? Uh, they are an important part of our um, the bi biodiversity mm -hmm. um, in the rainforest of South America, and so they act as pollinators. They actually help to fertilize some of the trees they live in. So they are an important part of the biodiversity in South America. You said that they um, eat leaves. Do they eat insects or anything else? Uh, not really. They, they mostly just eat leaves and sometimes fruits. Oh, so cute. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Were you guys all freaking out when the baby sloth was born? Was it pretty exciting? We were pretty excited. Um, a lot of our, our keepers have worked really hard to uh, train Charlotte for voluntary ultrasounds. Oh. So um, that really helped us know when the baby was coming. And so when we saw her go into labor, everybody was really excited. We've been waiting a long time to see this baby. So you know, uh, we were pretty happy. I hate to obsess about this, but when do you find out if it's a boy or girl? I mean, uh, we probably won't work? know for a couple of months and we're able to get a, a closer exam on the baby. Oh, it's just that you can't get so close to the baby. Right, right. I yeah, gotcha. that's okay, right. Okay. Uh, now, you, you mentioned they're found in the wild South America? Yes. Um, there are six species of uh, sloth. We had the lens two-toed sloth mm -hmm. at Denver Zoo, um, but the six species are found throughout the northern part of South America up through Central America. And you have some very exciting events coming up at the Denver Zoo this month. The Feathered Friends, what is that all about? That's right. So while you're at Denver Zoo visiting the sloths, um, come see some of our, our favorite feathered friends. It is Feathered Friend February, and so we highlight some of the birds that are in our animal collection at Denver Zoo. Um, we also have um, several bird animal encounters and keeper talks and um, if you stop by Bird World you can actually sign up for a chance to win some special behind-the-scenes encounters um, for exciting. some of our winners. You also have the watering hole event. What is that about? Yes, um, that's happening on February 22nd. Um, this is an adult-only after-hours event, and um, this time we're focusing on tropical discovery. So guests can come to tropical discovery, uh, meet some of the keeper staff, um, see some animals um, after hours, mm -hmm. and so it's a really fun event. And you have the close-up encounters? Uh, we do. We actually have several species that are part of our um, up-close animal encounters. Um, we have a penguin encounter, we have tiger encounter, and most recently we've added a flamingo encounter. Ooh. So you can come see a few, few mem members of our flamingo flock. Since you haven't named the baby sloth yet, once you figure out if it's a boy or a girl, are you, maybe are you going to let the community name, like kind of do a a fun little naming contest? You know, we don't know right now. We okay. have to talk with some of our other staff and other keepers and see um, how we want to go about this. This is our first uh, sloth baby, so we're kind of just right now really enjoying just the cuteness of the baby sloth. So, If we come out there today because it's free day at the Denver Zoo, 
Is there an opportunity to see the baby or is she going to be hidden? So sloths sleep up to 15 hours a day. Whoa. So they sleep a lot. And um, part of what keeps the baby safe is the mom will kind of curl up in the tree and that baby will stay on her chest. So um, they may not be moving around at the time when people go to visit. But hopefully when you're walking through Bird World, uh, you'll be able to see mom on the move a little bit to get some food. And that would be a good chance to see the baby. Excellent. Thank you for all the fun information. Absolutely. Yeah, you guys have to go check it out. For Zoo News, visit Denver zoo.org denverzoo.org and be sure to check out the baby sloth born last week denverzoo.org is the web address and it also shows all of the upcoming educational and fun events for 2018